Okay, in this part, we will add some, uh, I don't know, scratches and wear. And okay, let's start. So here we have our colors. Let's add the folder. So so you keep everything neat and clean. So hit here, press add a folder, name it base underscore color or anything you want. Drag those two layers into this folder. Okay, so now we want to add uh, some white edges. So this will be, this will look more stylized. So let's first add the fill layer and move it out of base color and turn off everything again, height, metal, normal, AO and rough, turn it on, turn it off, sorry. Uh, press base color and uh, press picker uh, you have to hold it and go to our color yeah our color before so we have the same color and edges tends to be brighter so move this slider up and the middle slider down a bit so it will be more white whitish okay so you can see the color preview here name it edge color edge color underscore color and okay we want it to be only on edges so we add a black mask so nothing will be visible press right mouse button and we want to add generator and this will generate for us so that will be only on the on the edges okay so press generator and you can choose the presets for example here it's metal edge wear yeah this looks good yeah, it, it looks nice. So th th this generator will basically uh, make it visible on the edges only, and it will add some texture for us on the edge. But if you want to do it alone, I will show you the uh, the way. So you want to delete that. If if you're satisfied with this, you can leave it as it is. But I can show you the other way other option so we want to add our own mask editor okay okay it, it, I think it already looks nice okay so go to parameters and again you want to change everything to zero as you can see uh, it changed a lot when you drag down the curvature op opacity to zero. So this curvature opacity is basically uh, the slider that uh, contains the information where our edges are. Is so it knows where where it is where there's an edge, and it will use it to generate a mask. So if you want. Uh, the color to be visible only on on the edges you just drag it up for example i will drag it to one and and you can see it that uh, mo mostly it is on edges but it also blur onto like normal stuff this looks interesting okay but but we don't want it to be that hard so change it to 0 .4, 0 0.5 it now now it looks a lot better uh, ambient occlusion basically uh, will make it visible in in, uh, in cavities but uh, here I, I don't have that much ambient occlusion so it won't be visible but if you want to add uh, dirt into cavities just drag this up 
okay so 0.55 is good now now it's uh, basically smooth edge but if you want to add some texture go down to image inputs uh, we can close the parameters here you have image inputs and you can add uh, the texture so so the edges won't look so smooth so you click here and you can choose the texture there's a lot of textures that comes in with um, substance but uh, we will go here into this section I will drag it outside so you see more go to you can go to granges and here you have a lot of granges for example uh, yeah there's a lot and just find the wine that one that suits you for example I, I like mm, Oh, this this one looks okay so you can click dr and drag it onto here on the texture uh, now you won't see anything because uh, in parameters you have to make texture opacity to one if you want to see it so now it is one and, and you, you can see it that uh, there is a texture on the edges but uh, there's a small so you want to play with the values and just find something that needs you. If you want to blend two textures, you can you can do it. You have secondary texture and you can drag, for example, this texture here. And in parameters, in parameters here, you, you have to drag it up so you play with the values for example I, I drag it to 0 0.6 so it's it's bigger than the first texture so it will use mostly the the second texture and it already looked nice interesting so you can see the texture on the edges it's not smooth anymore Okay, just play with the values. Okay, so now we have uh, the edges done. As you can see, it, it looks a lot better with those edges. So now we can add some texture onto the rock if you want. Okay, so add again a fill layer. call it texture call it texture and here's the important thing uh, disable everything uh, yeah, if you want to, to make it look shiny just you have it here the rough channel you can make it very glossy if you want but uh, no we don't want that so we disable it again okay so we dis disable everything except of height so height basically <coughs> will uh, yeah will make our mesh will add some height to our mesh so for example it's, it's the best example is I'll, I'll show you just Oh, I will show you. Okay. If, for example, if you want to paint something, go to brush it here. Press yeah, any any brush because this is an example. And basically, you can start drawing on this, but you first. you have to add a paint layer and now you can draw on it okay but uh, first if you want to see some results just 
go to here the bottom texture and set the height below zero and now you will see it go to paint layer wait a minute okay forget this step okay guys so i uh, stuck a bit in in the earlier step so now i figured it out and i can show you okay so uh we have the same change it to the height to zero okay so now this will change the height of our mesh uh, based on the texture that we we give it so let's add a new texture a new layer as an example so here press add layer name it to example you don't have to do it but but i will want to show you disable everything like before leave the height and now if you choose the brush any brush and uh, you drag the height below zero and you start paint it, painting you can see that uh, it, it makes an it makes yeah it, it just at, uh, adjust the height of our mesh so it, it it indents into our mesh and if you move it above one zero it will make it uh, pop out uh, you, I, I think you can really see the difference but trust me it is like this so this this is popped out and this is popped in I, I don't know how to say it in English but never mind so you can play with this and just start drawing the scratches everything you can make it smaller the brush smaller here you have the size you can make it smaller and you can make scratches but uh, we won't do it uh, hand painted we will do it procedurally so everything will be generated for us so we now we can delete this layer uh, after the example so remove selected layer and here we have uh, the texture that I, I was talking about so leave it as, as zero for now and we add a black mask so it won't be visible on the mesh and again we add a generator no it's not generator we sorry we add a, a fill layer so basically this this will fill our mesh with, with uh, it will fill our mask with a texture that we provide so here you you have a grayscale where you yeah you drag the texture in so let's go to granges and let's search for scratches okay so you have few scratches for example here you have grunge scratches rough if you drag it onto the grayscale grayscale here it will apply to our mask so our mask look like this so it will show the, the scratches scratches on, on our surface. So if you press again to, to the layer and now you adjust the height, you can see the scratches. So if you move it down, you can see the scratches. And if you move it up, it, it, it is inverted scratches. It looks weird, but keep it below zero don't don't make it one because it looks terrible make it subtle so minus 0 0.111 okay so after you can see it we can play with it so go to mask again go to to the fill layer fill generator that we made press it and now you have the scale option you uh, so we can make it bigger by make it scale smaller. I know it's weird, but 
it is what it is. So if you want to make scratches smaller, just make the scale bigger. So for example, five. Yeah, this will make so many scratches small. But there's a lot of scratches now, and if you want to make less scratches, just go here to balance and decrease it. Okay, so we decrease it and there's fewer scratches now but they're not so visible and you, you just can you, you just play with the values because there's a lot of values here so play with them and and see what what fits your needs Okay, so I, I think I will make I will make the balance more like this zero point twelve and I will make the scratches bigger so for example four Maybe three. Okay, three looks good. So there's a subtle effect, but uh, you can see it. Okay, so if, if you want the, to make the texture like on the picture that I, I show you at the beginning of the series, just you have to drag a different grunge here. So this was called, um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember, it was white or something. Okay, you, you just have to find it because uh, I, I don't remember the name of it, but uh, I will provide, uh, it will pop up on, on YouTube now. Never mind, but but yeah, you can add different grayscales, and it will add different uh, texture, and you can play with it. And by pressing Ctrl Z, you you undo the step. So this looks already nice for me. Okay, so here we have the texture done. Press Ctrl S to save it. 